actress Rosario Dawson has done it all. Movies, TV, shows, musicals, animated flicks. It is no wonder that she has more than 100 credits to her name. Yeah, and when she's not in front of the camera, you can find her behind the scenes as an executive producer of several passion projects, including a really new, important documentary headed to theaters and Netflix soon. It's so good to see you. We want to get to this, this documentary because mm -hmm. it's powerful. It's about yes. motherhood. Yeah. It's, it, it, uh, it shows what binds all of us. Mm -hmm. But before we do, can we get to something totally superficial? <laughs> yes. I loved your haircut when you walked in, <laughs> girl. You did. You did it! You went for the I finally did. Yes, yes, yes. I, I've wanted to for a long time. If you look at my mom's Twitter photo yeah. from her 40th wow. birthday, she got cut her hair into a mohawk oh. and then shaved it. So it's, ever since I hit 40, I've been like, am I going to shave now, my head? What am I going to do? I'm going to be 44 in May. I'm a little late. It's still a little long, but, but at they, some point. They do say a woman <laughs> who changes her hair is changing her life. Yes. Is that is that happening? Do you feel that way? Um, I think, you know... <sighs> I don't know. I think I think I'm always changing, yeah. and I think I'm changing for myself. This is one of the first haircuts I've done for me in a really long time. I'm always filming. I'm always a character. Yes. I'm always for that, and and it's just felt really nice to just do How something cool. for myself. You so seem free. if that's the change that I'm doing more things for myself, then I'm I'm yeah. with that. I think we need more. Of that. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, all of our kids are about to be are, are already obsessed with you. You joined the Star Wars yeah. franchise, oh which gosh. must feel like. Dreamy. <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable. It's 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 kind of next level. I'm 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 excited. I'm nervous and about it. And you have a spinoff just for your character. Ahsoka. Yeah, that's gonna probably come out in the fall. We're gonna have um we're gonna have Haunted Mansion coming out in August. Which is first. also like a Disney. So I'm cr and I just did some uh, beautiful Disney Plus commercial voiceover, and I'm like, have I just become a Disney princess? <laughs> like, I just I have about it because <laughs> I'm like, I'm down. Okay, I'm cool. I'm okay with that. When someone presents you with um, a project, I. Yeah. I feel like you're looking through a lens. Like, these mm -hmm. are things that I will do now, and these are things that aren't for me. How has that narrowed? Like, what do you choose now to do? I mean, I think my, my life's work in general is, is, is storytelling mm -hmm. and for the sake of humanity. I think that's just always been it. Since my first film, Kids, which was mm -hmm. able to touch yes. on latchkey kids, and I grew up in a squat, and that sort of experience of being in the 80s and 90s with heroin and yeah. crack and, and housing issues and HIV and AIDS and all of these different things. And that was put in the film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was, and it was so powerful. And people to this day say how much it changed yes. their lives. And mm. so, you know, being able to be on the board of V-Day, which is 25 years old this year, $120 million raised to stop violence against women and children. Yeah. Lower East Side Girls Club, different documentaries that I've worked on, like the one we're, we're, we're talking about today, which is about to come out, Split the Root. It's going to come out um, on March 3rd. Yeah. And, I, and I was able to bring it to Array, to Ava DuVernay's yes. company. And we worked on DMZ together, and that was such an important storytelling of just people coming together as community and what can happen yeah. when people come together um, and don't try to take the burdens on their own. And so I brought this project to her, and we're getting it released on Netflix. Can and she's just doing God's yeah. work. Yeah, so she's, she's like the person I look to. Yeah. Like, it's not just the storytelling I can embody, but also the storytelling that we can promote and put out there. Together, and that's just right. really powerful. Okay, wait, can we just take a quick look? We have an yeah. exclusive first look at the trailer, which we've been wanting to see. Yes. If this wasn't the time to act, if this wasn't the time to put our lives on the back burner, then when is it? When is that time? What was really intended to be a project to release one mom and get her back with her kids caught momentum so quickly and hasn't stopped since. Uh, I mean, this is a story of the beginning of an organization called Immigrant Families Together. Um, this film is taking a really strong look at the child separation at our border. And, you know, Julie, who you just saw, um, is one of the co-founders. And, she, you know, she was like so many women, across, doesn't matter across party lines, whatever it was, yeah. people said, this is torture. Yes. This is trauma. Yeah. And it's actually been clinically called torture. Mm -hmm. And families came together. She tried to get to this, you know, New York uh, protest. She missed it. Mm -hmm. She heard on the radio this pro bono, you know, um, lawyer working with this woman, Yenny, who was trying to get re reunited with her family. She made a Facebook post. Mm. Megan, who is one of the core 15 who started the organization, is a theater te uh, director <laughs> mm. and, you know, organized a caravan to bring her. They paid her bond, made her, got her from Arizona to New York, reunited her with uh. her family. And when Yenny showed up, she had 10 
other mothers' names memorized and mm. their children. And that was the beginning of Immigrant Families Together. And it was just oh. people answering the call. People have other lives, other things that they're yeah, doing and going, but I can, make main job. I can drive you from here to here. People's, I can help you with this. People sometimes see this issue and look away. I think it's they'll say it's too painful to yeah. see. I can't look. I can picture my kid. I don't want to yeah. look at that. Yeah. But how do you convince people that actually we, we have to? Well, yeah. I think what's, what, what's really beautiful, I find this film really encouraging because yeah. of the different moments and steps that everyone took individually that made a profound difference. This organization has now raised $3 million. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. mostly small donations, which I think is critical. It's just everybody going, you know what? I'll not get that coffee today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can let my hair get a little longer and just yeah. give this little bit and because of that, over 124 families have been reunited yeah. and I think, with their wow. kids. And we still have thousands that are still suffering from this policy. Yeah. So it's, it's really beautiful to see people going, I'm not waiting. But there is legislation that we could be pushing for. Uh -huh. And these are the ways that we can all contribute, mm -hmm. whether it's doing that drive, whether it's making that donation, mm -hmm. or whether it's making sure to vote for these different policies mm -hmm. and these different folks who are going to lead with humanity, which is what we need to be and doing. And I know your mom is one of your oh, closest, closest. Yes. I think if we all think about what those mothers must feel. Yeah. Um, okay, how sweet is this oh, right here? Yes. Look at you two. <laughs> the best. She was supposed to be here today. She didn't make it. But, you know, this is something, you know, we've we really bonded on. Um, you know, housing is a really major issue. She's worked with Housing Works. She's worked on different documentaries along with me, like The Deported. Um, mm. And and we just understand that this is this is the kind of life's work that that is not work. Wow. You know, when you're when you're okay. when you're seeing different families coming together, and that's what we wanted to do. I made sure when I came on the film, like this isn't just about pointing one finger at one yeah. particular thing. I really want to focus on the beauty yeah. of what people can do when they do say yeah. enough is enough. Let's work together. You gotta catch Ugh. Split the Root. It debuts in select theaters <laughs> and streams on Netflix starting so March the third. Beautiful film. Thank, thank you so thank much. Very encouraging. Please watch. Yes, this. Very, very, very hopeful. Thank, thank you. Thank you. you.